In this example, we've been asked to solve the differential equation dy dx equals negative x e to the x over y. And we have a condition on the side here, y of 0 equals 1. So that means when x equals 0, y is equal to 1. That will help us solve for an arbitrary constant that we get in our general solution to the DE. But I look at the differential equation and I first note that it is a first order differential equation. The highest derivative is just the first derivative. And so I think of the two methods, the standard methods for solving first order DEs, either separation of variables or using the integrating factor. In this case, I see that I've got a single other term besides the dy dx. And this term is made up of two factors and the x's and the y's are separated. So this is an equation which is separable. And so I'm going to use the method of separation of variables, which is basically get all the y factors with the dy, rearrange to get all the x factors with the dx, integrate both sides, and solve for y. So let's proceed with that now, the, integra uh, the separation of variables. I multiply out by the y and leave the differential dy there. On the right-hand side, I'll be left with x e to the x, and I multiply up by the differential dx. Place an integral sign on both sides. If the functions are equal, the integrals of each function must be equal as well. So integrating the left-hand side, the integral of y with respect to y is just 1 half y squared. The integral on the right-hand side here will require a bit more work. I see I have the a product here. One of the functions will reduce when I differentiate. The exponential stays as an exponential whether I differentiate or integrate. So this is going to be done with the integration by parts. I'll be just putting the negative 1 in front of the integral. So I just want to integrate x e to the x. So setting up the integration by parts, I'll let u equal the function that will reduce when differentiated. So I'll let u equal the x part. The differential dv is equal to e to the x dx. So I need to differentiate u, integrate dv, and we'll do that now. du dx will just be 1, so du is equal to dx. Imagine putting an integral sign in front of the dv. Integral of dv is v. Integral of e to the x is just e to the x. So v is equal to e to the x. Remember the integration by parts rule. I'll write the rule down here. U integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So I just need to substitute the four terms I have here into the rule and put that on the right-hand side. Remembering I've got a minus 1 there as well. So I'll take the minus out the front and now just substitute in uv minus the integral of v du. So uv is x times e to the x minus the integral of v du. v is e to the x and du is dx. So it's just the integral of e to the x dx. And all of that is in being multiplied by minus 1. Just check the integration by parts. I've turned a difficult integral into a standard integral, integral of e to the x, which I can do. So let's do that integral as well as multiplying in by the negative 1 inside these brackets, which will give me minus x e to the x plus, because I've got the minus times a minus, plus the integral of e to the x is just e to the x. I've done a bunch of integrals. They'll all have arbitrary constants. I said that I can put them all together over onto the right-hand side. So there's one arbitrary constant, which is the constant of integration there. So I've done all the integrals. Looking back to my differential equation now, I've got half of y squared. So to rearrange, to get the general solution, I get y by itself. So I'll multiply up by 2, first of all to get that y squared is equal to negative 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x plus 2 times an arbitrary constant is another arbitrary constant. We might just call it c1. Simplify here a little bit. We can take the 2 e to the x outside of this function. 2 e to the x outside, I'll, left, uh, I'll be left with a 1 here. 
and a minus x here just to make it look a little bit neater I'll write the one first one minus x and all of that is being added to the arbitrary constant just quickly check that 2 e to the x times 1 is 2 e to the x and 2 e to the x times minus x is that minus x 2 to e to the x I need to take the square root to get y by itself remembering to take the square root uh, gives you a plus or minus answer so it's plus or minus now the square root of 2 e to the x outside of 1 minus x plus the arbitrary constant c1. Without any more information, that's where I would stop. And this is now a general solution. And I could write that in here. General solution to the differential equation. But I was given a condition. Going back up to the up to the top, I see that when x is equal to zero, y is equal to one. So when I substitute that condition into my general solution, the only unknown will be the arbitrary constant c1. I'll have a value for x and a value for y, so I can solve for c1, making my general solution a more exact solution. So. Using the condition, we identify that we're going to use the condition by writing in here, condition. The condition says when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Remembering that the solution is y as a function of x. So this says x equals 0, y will equal the right-hand side, which is 1. So substituting those values into the general solution will give me that 1 is equal to the plus or minus square root of 2 times e to the power of 0 is just 1, so it's 2 times 1, multiplied by 1 minus 0 is just another 1 in there, plus the arbitrary constant c1. We could have substituted this into the second last line because now I'm just going to square both sides anyway. But we continue on. When we square both sides, we will just see that 1 is equal to 2 times 1 times 1 is 2 plus C1. I've got rid of the plus or minus when I squared both sides. The square, 1 squared is just 1. Continuing on, I can solve for that. And I see that C1 is now equal to 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So the last move is to substitute minus 1 into the general solution for C1 to get a more exact solution. And writing that out, we see that now the solution to the differential equation with this condition is that Y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 e to the x outside of 1 minus x plus the arbitrary constant which is minus 1 so I have minus 1. That is the solution to the first order differential equation using the separation of variables.